Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2011 Ford Ameritrans. This is on the Ford E450 chassis, powered by the Ford 6.8 liter V10 Triton engine and a company with an automatic transmission. <clears throat> Uh, cool thing about the Ameritrans, if you look here on the side, you see that uh, it does have a radius body. Another cool feature, kind of looks kind of like a spaceship. I'll give you a better view of that here in a second. Uh, a lot of your shuttle buses are going to have the straight uh, up and down red box type look. This does have a uh, more curve to it, makes it look a little fancier. Um, all right, coming on the inside here, you will notice we do have a uh, co-pilot seat, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, right outside we have a uh, exterior passenger entry door key switch. It allows the uh, driver to open and close the door from the outside. Just a nice feature so the driver doesn't have to go all the way around into the, you know, and lean over and close it again. Uh, inside we do have a gray non-skid floor here. Uh, that is a ribbed aisleway and a ribbed stairwell with some uh, white step nosing here. Over here in the driver area you'll see uh, we do have a AM FM Ox Kenwood Exelon stereo here. Some, and here are the driver climate controls for the driver and the passengers. The passenger air conditioning is over here. This is for the uh, actual temperature on and off. This is the uh, fan speed. Uh, this also does have a PA system and some speakers in the back that I'll show you here in a little bit. As far as the miles, 402,000 miles, 402,364. As I said before, this does have a co-pilot seat, driver and co-pilot, which both seem to be in really good condition, no rips, tears, or anything like that. Do have some armrests here, the driver and the co-pilot, both have some seat belts. So in the back, we do have some Friedman featherweight high back seats with uh, some aisle side armrests and some seat belts here. And we do have some uh, tour style windows with some T sliders on top. Just as the passengers want to get a little bit extra air, I can actually get this open for you. There we go, see. <clears throat> Up above we do have some emergency, uh, sorry, some uh, overhead luggage racks with some uh, Reading lights over each double seat. Get a little ahead of myself there, and we do have some emergency exits. Uh, we have two on the sides, right there, properly uh, labeled, and a roof hatch on top. <clears throat> uh, as far as the overhead luggage racks, you notice there's a carpet on them and a carpet on the walls. Just helps uh, deaden the sound. There's not as much road noise coming through when you got the uh, gray padded vinyl or the uh, or the carpet up top. Come around back here, give you a nice look underneath. Tires are looking good. Underneath there, looking good. So I'm gonna show you that uh, radius body now. You can kind of see a little better from the back here. If you look at it, see it's uh, it curves like that instead of the uh, typical up and down. It's got a nice see, curvature to it. <clears throat> In the back here, there is a rear luggage area. This is a 24 passenger with rear luggage. I failed to mention that before. Definitely one of one of our most popular floor plans. Uh, back here, there's also a rear step bumper. Allows the driver to just step up there if he needs to. Uh, the driver or the uh, fuel caps on the driver's side, as you can see, and. Show you a little more of the tires there. This is for your uh, a for your a AC condenser. This is a skirt mounted condenser. Uh, sometimes they're on the roof, sometimes they're on the skirt. This one happens to be on the skirt. That's why underneath there, that's what that grate is for. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any of the other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800 231-7099 visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com thank you very much for watching